Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and we have some fantastic announcements this week including the number of AWS certification test centers has now tripled in size. As part of its commitment to renewable energy, AWS has announced three new wind farms. There is a new scripting tool to help you migrate Microsoft SQL Server databases from Windows to Linux and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. From this week, you can now take your AWS certification exam at a Pearson View test center, as well as the PSI test centers. So this means that there are now an additional 5,000 testing centers available across 180 countries worldwide. And this is gonna give customers a lot more flexibility and choice when selecting a location to take the exams. As part of a commitment to renewable energy, AWS has announced three new wind farm projects, one in Ireland, one in Sweden, and one in the US. And AWS has a long-term goal to eventually power 100% of its global infrastructure using renewable energy. And last year, they already exceeded 50%. So in combination with existing projects, these new facilities are expected to produce nearly 3 million megawatt hours of renewable energy per year, which is the equivalent annual consumption of an entire city the size of Nashville, Tennessee. There is a new scripting tool to help you migrate Microsoft SQL Server databases from Windows to Linux, and it's called the Replatforming Assistant. Now, you can use it with any Windows Server virtual machine, either hosted in AWS or in your own data center, as long as they are running SQL Server 2008 and above. Now, the tool checks for common incompatibilities, and it then exports the database and re-imports it into an EC2 instance running SQL Server 2017, on Ubuntu 16.04. And the whole process is automated, and this is gonna be really great for any customers looking to migrate to Linux for technical cost or security reasons. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answers this week were A and C, and lots of you got it right, but the person with the best answer was Helen Chang, who is a software developer lead in Paris. So congratulations to Helen. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card on the way to you in the post, and you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that is all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.